Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Konosuke uh, Laser. And they've got different flavors of steel. This particular line is the Shidogami or white number two. And this is their 240 millimeter Guto. The uh, steel, it's not really core steel because these are mono steel construction. So the steel that these are made out of is Shidogami or white paper number two. Reactive high carbon steel from Hitachi. Heat treat they go for on these is about 61 Rockwell. So these are laser cut and then um, hand ground. And uh, they're really nice knives. So they're laser performers. Uh, the geometries are very similar between this and the HD2 line and also the Swedish stainless line. So uh, it's just kind of a different flavor of steel. So this is easy to sharpen, Shidogami number two. The weight and dimensions on these should be pretty close from knife to knife because of the way they're made. But uh, weight's about 146 grams or 5.1 ounces on this one. Edge length is a little under 240, about 238. So they'll probably be in the 237, 238 range, about 9.4 inches. And then the overall length is about 15 and a half or 394 millimeters-ish. Um, the spine thickness on these is uh, fairly consistent throughout, and then you get a lot of... Uh, taper at the very end of the knife and a thin tip where the grind kicks in. So about two and a quarter back above the back of the blade coming out of the handle. And I measured about 2.2 in the middle of the blade. So they're going to be just kind of that two, two plus range all the way down the blade until you hit the grind. Um, and they get real thin at the very tip. The uh, blade height is about 48.9 or 49 millimeters. So you've got a nice generous height coupled with a neck that's not super wide and you got lots of Lots of clearance for your fingers on the cutting board. The handles are um, octagonal, and these handles could vary. Mark will be putting probably some custom handles on these as well. So this particular one came out of the, the factory, and it's got an octagonal hoe wood with a buffalo horn ferrule. And sometimes they'll put blonde buffalo horn on these, which is really a cool look. So you might see these in black. You might see these in blonde. Um, this particular one is a little thinner handle than I've seen on a lot of them. It's about 72 millimeters in circumference, maybe even 71, uh, a little under three inches. 76, 75 is pretty standard, so this one's a little skinnier. And they tend to be on the long side as well. The, the handles are fairly, fairly long, so uh, that adds to the length of the overall knife. But they're light as well, which they should be, um, otherwise you'd have the balance point too far back. Um, speaking of that balance point, even with that long handle, is going to be right there so it's going to be for me just a little bit in front of my pinch grip depending on where you're at so even though the knife is very light at a little over five ounces it gives you a little bit of a weight forward bias to it uh, blade forward bias again if, we, if some of these have custom handles that could change the balance point up radically but that's with this handle so uh, these have some convexing to the grind you've got enough spine thickness so you get a good convex grind with decent food release. It's not fabulous, but for what it is, it's really pretty good because of that grind. And they get nice and thin at the tip. So these are lasers, and they are one of the quintessential laser, uh, I guess, uh, category-defining knives over time. So one of the original laser-style knives. So uh, let's see here. Let's look at the knife up close. So they've got a, uh, you can see a belt-finished grind on them and you can see vertical marks on the sanding. They've got an etched kanji. It's not embossed but it is etched on there. And this one has been hand sharpened by Alton at uh, Chef Knives To Go. So it's it's ridiculously sharp out of the box. This particular one, it's got to be seven, eight. You know, I never give anything a 10 but it's got a really sharp, well done edge on it. So he's a very good sharpener. Um, it's got a slight bit of corrosion at the edge, but that's probably just from the sharpening job. That can be easily polished out. This particular one's going on a pass around, so I'm not going to bother like doing anything else with it and potentially mess up that beautiful edge he's got on there. But this is a great performing knife. Um, really low wedging through all kinds of things. It's just an excellent, excellent performing knife with super easy to sharpen uh, Shidogami number 2 steel. Let's look at the profile. Fit and finish is really good on these. Um, Forgot to tell you that, but you've got polished and rounded spine, polished and rounded choil. Um, again, out of the box edge, you might have some variants on yours. This particular one is outstanding because it's been hand sharpened in house at Chef Knives to Go. But here's your profile. 
So you've got just a pretty good overall profile. Um, you've got a little bit of a stop at the heel, so a slight flat section at the back of the heel, and then a gentle belly and a fairly high tip. So I can get, um, even though the tip's fairly high, the way it's, it's ground, looks like I'm kind of, he's got a pointy tip on there and it's kind of digging in. So this particular one, yours could vary a little bit depending on how the tip's finished off. Uh, this particular one, it rocks real nice, but I'm not going to get real high without digging it in. But again, that's this particular tip, he kind of left the point low. You could kind of tweak that tip a little if you wanted to and change the behavior of that. It's amazing how much difference a small millimeter or two change in that very front of the knife on the tip would change the how much you can rock it. But you'll easily be able to rock this through shorter stuff, no problem. So pretty good general kind of characteristic profile on it. So these are just outstanding performers, laser performers, um, nice fit and finish, easy to sharpen, cool aesthetic. Um, here's the handle with the buffalo horn, blonde buffalo horn. Uh, just nice tight handle install on these. So excellent, excellent line of knives. So if you're looking for a all carbon steel laser knife, these are great. So here you have the Konosuke Shidogami number no. two laser Guto 240 millimeter knife.